We want to return now to that breaking news, very serious crash in the Cajon Pass. We have Terry Kazinga with us, Caltrans spokesperson. And Terry, I'm, I'm sure the information is somewhat limited as to what you have, but uh, a significant accident that we're talking about. Yes, that's correct. The fog conditions are so bad. We're even having trouble getting our own people up there to find out what's going on. There are reports that there's a 20-car pileup. There's also a couple of other incidents at the Ranchero with a car fire. But the visibility is really low. The SIG alert was issued at 11.08. My person is still en route. He's traveling on a switchback, which is like a dirt road to get up there. Mm -hmm. And I read on the log that they were actually sending cars down the switchback to get around the incident. So hopefully we don't have any other incidents outside of this one. But the fog is you can't see past the hood of your car. So CHP is also working to find out what's going on with this, too. Terry, what are you hearing about injuries? And what, we have some video that we're sharing now here on ABC7. We've been able to get some video into our newsroom um, just showing the fog, the pileup, and just the visibility being so low. As far as the injuries are concerned, how, how they might even be able to reach this area to help the people affected by this? Yeah, and that's an issue right now. I don't know that there's any medical personnel on scene or what the extent of injuries, if any, um, but those are all things that we're trying to find out right now. Um, the staff that isn't on scene there, it's, this is preliminary. The CHP PIOs are just finding out, too. So we're in the holding mode right now to get as much information as we can. Uh, so that we can figure out what's really, really happening up there. Well, Terry, as I look at this, we, we again, just to let everybody know where it is, it's the southbound 15. So are we talking about this, as we look at the crash, it is significant, and you're, you're talking about limited visibility. Are we closing both sides of the 15 freeway in that area? I can't see how anybody's even getting through. No, right now, I believe the southbound lanes are closed, and they're doing intermittent traffic breaks and holds to allow people to get through and to get around the incident, but I don't know how big the incident is. So there are intermittent traffic breaks. My best advice right now is if you don't have to use the 15 between Hesperia and the Cone Pass or that whole area, whether you're going north or south, please avoid it. And can you imagine, I guess, in a situation like this, would Caltrans probably help out with the northbound, I guess, if, if emergency personnel needed to use the northbound to reach it and kind of take over some of those lanes just for emergency personnel that Caltrans would assist in that? Yeah, that's a very good possibility. We have not been requested for assistance yet. But like I said, I think everybody's just trying to get to the incident at this point to make assessments and then determine what needs to be done. Um, be advised that if the traffic is, I mean, if the fog is that bad in the past and it's causing accidents, there is a possibility that we may have to close it intermittently until the fog clears. So stay tuned for that. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.